Hello fans, collectors, investors, welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I'm Iconic Al, and we've made it. We're in the top three. I've made 97 countdown videos over the past two years, and I can't believe we're here. This player, his name is synonymous with excellence. Every year, the greatest pitcher in each league is honored with an award named after him. Uh, I know I have a pitcher that I've already named the greatest pitcher of all time, but my list is the greatest and most iconic. This pitcher, name recognition, iconic status, hobby mojo. When you take everything into account, you have to consider this man the most iconic pitcher of all time. His career war of 163.6 puts him on Outlier Island, defining him along with Walter Johnson as the two greatest pitchers in baseball history, and it's not even close. You know who I'm talking about, of course. It's the great Cy Young. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Well, it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Born in 1867 in Gilmore, Ohio, Denton True Cy Young would go on to become the most iconic pitcher in baseball history. As I mentioned in the intro, his 163.6 war puts him in a class with only Walter Johnson as true outliers in baseball history. The next pitcher down the list, Roger Clemens at 139 war, has to be adjusted down, as I said on my Clemens video, to about 113 war. So, after Johnson and Young, there is not a pitcher until the teens, the one teens, that even comes close to their war. So truly, Walter Johnson and Cy Young are outliers in the game of baseball in terms of their longevity and their compiled greatness. He won 511 games, a number that will never be touched. He also lost 315 games, a number that will never be touched which just elucidates how much differently pitchers are used today than they were back in the day. He started 815 games, completed a record 749 games, and logged 7,356 innings at the major league level, which is just ridiculous. He sported a 2.63 career ERA, a 1.130 whip, and had a 138 ERA plus. So he was just a consistently great pitcher. Cy Young is the pitching equivalent to Henry Aaron. Stunning durability and consistent excellence over a long period of time. His name, Cy, comes from his pitching motion, which was uh, likened to a cyclone. The man won 20 games 16 times, and he won 30 games 5 times. He struck out 2,803 batters, which is remarkable considering during the time he played, the strikeout was not and emphasis. He had peak war seasons of 13.9 war in 1892, 11.2 war in 1893, a 12-war season in 1895, a 12.5 war season in 1901, and a 10.1 war season in 1902. On May 5, 1904, Cy Young pitched the first perfect game in recorded modern baseball history, and in the 1903 World Series, Cy Young went 2-1 with three complete games, 34 innings pitched, a 1.85 ERA, a 1.029 whip. Needless to say, he led his Boston Americans to the World Series Championship. Now, if we go even deeper into his advanced metrics. Hello, fans, investors. Welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I'm Iconic Al. It is with great pride that I bring you the top three. This is my list of the 100 greatest and most iconic ball players in baseball history, and this represents an important plateau for me. Um, if you exclude Barry Bonds, who we've discussed, you have to adjust down to about 128 war. There are only five players in baseball history. Hello? Hey, Al? Hey, it's your bestie, Scott. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know you're in the middle of doing your Cy Young video. Yeah, I just got really excited and I had to call you. Hey, look, you know Cy's my guy, right? But uh, 
you, you, you started rambling on again about stats and advanced metrics and war and all that stuff. And quite frankly, you're kind of putting me to sleep. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, I, I was wondering if you would like me to help you out and hop on and uh, show off my Cy Young collection. Yeah? Awesome. Hey, I won't let you down, man. All right, cool. Hey, superstars, it's Al's best friend, Scott. You know, I promised to do this, but then I realized that I only have two Cy Young cards. I'm an artist and artists are, well, poor, and uh, Cy Young cards aren't exactly cheap, but I am proud of what I got. He's got three cards in the T206 set, and I have two of them, including this pitching pose, and then my most favorite card in the whole wide world, the T206 portrait. I love the green, I love the portrait, and I love that I drew a bunch of commissions to earn the money to buy this. I'm just so excited to own this guy. Another fun piece I have is this press photo from Cy's 80th birthday party. He's signing a contract presented to him by another legend, Cleveland Indians owner Bill Veck. And, uh, well, I guess that didn't take very long, did it? I could talk about the stuff that I'd like to own eventually. I'd love to get my hands on a Cy Young autograph and the T206 Milkman. Oh, and the T205 Gold Border. Hey, that gives me an idea. Let's just move this stuff out of the way. All right. Like I said, I'm an artist, right? So I can just create any Cy Young piece that I want. So that's what we'll do. And while we're doing that, I'll talk a little bit about the man. Um, I think first and foremost, my fascination with him stems from the fact that he lived just about an hour south of me in Newcomerstown, Ohio. He was a farm boy with a sixth grade education who raised chicken and sheep and hogs. And he absolutely loved baseball. And on top of winning more games than anyone else in baseball history, he also lost more games. So maybe he didn't have the dominance of like Walter Johnson or Christy Mathewson, but he was an even-tempered workhorse, a real man's man, and just an absolute model of consistency who became a baseball idol. Cy debuted for the Cleveland Spiders in 1890 at the age of 23 after his contract was bought out from the uh, Canton, Ohio minor league team. His first game was against Cap Anson's Chicago Colts, and before the game, Anson dismissed Cy as some big dumb farm boy. Cy then proceeded to beat the Colts 8-1, giving up only three hits in his major league debut. In his early years, Cy threw as hard as anyone in the game, and despite losing that speed on his fastball as he got older, he developed excellent control and mastery of his nifty arsenal of pitches that allowed him to pitch effectively well into his 40s. He attributed his longevity and success to his personal five rules of conduct. One, be moderate in all things. Two, don't abuse yourself. Three, don't bait umpires. Four, play hard. And five, render faithful service to your employer. Cy retired when he was 45. I guess he was having some arm issues, but I also read that he claimed that he could have kept throwing. He said he was just unable to field his position effectively and that he was essentially bunted out of baseball. Look at that, we're done already. I'm loving how this came out. It's an image of an old master, a real hardworking gentleman, and a baseball icon. Thanks, Al, for inspiring this piece and for having me take part in your countdown. What a great way to collect and showcase that collection. I am honored to play a little part in that and maybe a little sad that it's almost over, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what else you have in store for us. Scott, thank you so much. What an amazing contribution to this episode. If anyone is unaware of Scott's channel, Reindeer Studios, check him out on YouTube. Also on Etsy, he's got some amazing merchandise on sale. And I'm gonna leave a link to the video that shows how he acquired that T206 portrait, uh, green background, Scott Young. It is one of the best videos I've ever seen on YouTube. So please check out that video to show how he acquired that green background T206 portrait. Thank you again, Scott. That was insane. You are truly a legend and a bestie of mine. Okay, well, not to let anyone down, but I only have one Cy Young card. 
one of the cards that Scott displayed, the T206 Cy Young bare hand shows. And I just love this image. It, it's like he's pitching in heaven. The colors in the background, it, it, it just seems so idyllic to me. The centering was right. The aging, the overall presentation was right. He's throwing, of course. Of course, it's Cy Young, he's throwing. And this was a, a pickup that I had about three or four years ago in a PSA 2. And it's just how the card should look, how I want my Cy Young card to look. I just, I'm in love with this card. I have been since I bought it. Um, this is a Piedmont back, the Piedmont 150. Some uniform rounding on the corners, which is fantastic. And it's how you want your tobacco cards to look. It's how I want mine to look. Just your classic playing day Cy Young card. And it's the only one that I'm ever gonna need. Now, I am after a Cy Young autograph, one of my targets at this year's national, which would be very fitting to pick that up in Cleveland. So I hope I can do that if the right deal comes along, but uh, we will see. Regardless, I hope to see you, Scott, and all of you out there on YouTube at this year's national. Thank you so much to everyone that's come along on this ride with me on the top 100 countdown. This has been so much fun. And um, until next time, keep collecting and stay iconic.